Well, welcome everyone again. This is uh, well, probably my essay, my most favorite part of this uh, video series. It's about uh, artillery collimators. I I don't know if I pronounce it right, but uh, uh, I, I I do my best. I have not seen any video on YouTube how the artillery collimators are used and what they are good for and how they are exactly and precisely used. So. Uh, this guy who uh, these guys who coded this uh, mod because it's not me who coded this mod I just put it together uh, this is a, they just did an amazing job because they uh, they just uh, set up a working totally working artillery columnar and uh, they just deserve uh, as a as a what is it as, as, a, as a respect to their work to show people uh, the amazing workings of this uh, old style optic equipment. Well, this is a columnar. I, I, I included in this uh, single scenario file this columnar and let's pick it up. And uh, I also set up my gun. You see the uh, aiming circle there and the gun. And I set up the gun to 600 Russian mils. So now it is facing 600 Russian mils and the weather is bad we don't see nothing there is no orientation point and um, uh, in the previous video we learned how to use the aiming poles but uh, now I'm showing you a much more sophisticated way to uh, compensate for the parallax error and use the artillery collimator, collimator as a as a reference point to rotate your gun so what you need to do first is you need to set up your collimator somewhere yeah the good the thing is that you will you will uh, observe your collimator with the aiming periscope so you, the aiming periscope you see is on the left side of the gun so you probably want to shoot for the left side of the gun you know a little bit forward that's what usually people do they put a little bit forward the distance does not matter until it is uh, between 4 and 16 meters as the uh, manual says so let's do like this just seems to be a good distance what 10 12 meters or whatever anyway with the introduction key i set up the artillery collimator while it sets up but it is facing uh, my way it's not good it should face the gun so what i do i just uh, carry it and for some reason when i carry it it just turns around so uh, <laughs> it's uh, now it is facing the gun so i put it down i put it down you see I'm trying to shoot for the aiming circle I put it down and with the interaction key I level it you need to level it it also has to be horizontal before you use it then with the interaction key there is another interaction menu that adjusts collimator you get into it and you are getting an iron sight thing with the arrow keys you just can move the iron sight thing and you can uh, with the shift key you uh, increase the speed of the movement you just lift it up with the down key and what what you are doing with it what you need to do with it is put your eye on sight as if it was a gun put your eye on sight exactly on the optics you see that's exactly on the optics of the gun that's now you are fine your uh, uh, collimator is set for use so with escape, escape, escape key, you need to get out, get into the gun. And now comes the tricky part because uh, with the periscope you have to find, you have to look at the collimator, which is uh, the periscope is uh, the magnification is pretty, uh, pretty big. So um, and and it's not very handy. You see, that is the collimator, and my periscope is uh, is uh, looking at the way of the uh, looking at the. Uh, aiming circle so I have to rotate it clockwise pretty significantly anyway I have to rotate it clockwise pretty significantly let's rotate it you see I'm rotating it and I'm well it's just a guesswork now but I have to get it somewhere close to the collimator yeah that must be yeah let's see get into the site and you we have to uh, look down with the delete and insert key yeah you just found it with the delete and insert key we can look down here is our collimator and now 
we move the side not the gun because we don't touch the gun with the arrow keys we just move the side onto the under the appropriate numbers and uh, letters you see uh, many people always wondered what are these uh, how, what are these funny alien looking uh, numbers and letters on the bottom side of the Russian Russian optics what well, is uh, to use the optics with the columnar and you see now my one is aligned with one and the A is aligned with A. That means I'm fine. My columnar is totally set together with my gun. And what are columnars for? Columnars are for the same purpose like the aiming poles. They are they are designed to compensate for parallax error. So now I, what I need to do is to take a note of my reading on the on my periscope, which was say 38, 83. So the reading of my periscope is uh, 3883 and let's let's say i i i am i'm given a command to rotate my gun i'm facing now at 600 mils as i told you and i'm given a command of uh, rotating my gun what uh, three uh, let's say 300 mils clockwise that means i have to add to my actual azimuth 300 mils what do i do well as the uh, periscope is uh, numbered counterclockwise, I have the same. I have to add to the periscope 300 mils, then rotate the rotate the periscope 300 mils counterclockwise, and then rotate the entire gun 300 mils clockwise. Well, now I have the reading of 3883. How do I get 300 uh, mils? That's easy. I just add 300 mils. That's 3983, and then. Uh, and then uh, 4083 and then 4183 so 4183 what do I have to do now is set my side of on 4183 uh, you see it's uh, rotating counterclockwise that's how it increases and I get to have to 4183 it's 41 40 41 37 41 8183 4183 and now with the arrow key arrow keys I rotate my gun clockwise until I see the collimator but I'm now what I'm seeing different numbers that's the purpose and that's the working principle of the collimator and I have to uh, align the proper numbers with the proper you see with the proper numbers with the proper uh, marking of my optics it says four three whatever so anyway I have to get to four that is the four that is the three and that is the five you see the five is not now everything is aligned the five is with the five four is with the three three is three that means my gun is totally uh, rotated to my desired azimuth and I compensated for the parallax error with an artillery collimator that's how collimators work and that's what they are used for uh, well um, they basically do the same what, what the uh, aiming poles do but it's a much more sophisticated and accurate way so artillery people uh, prefer this method instead of uh, instead of uh, aiming poles if, if they have access to these columnars and uh, usually they do uh, and uh, you see in all uh, all uh, all optics what do you see these uh, these very funny markings that's what they are used for and that's how to how uh, you should use them. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. If you enjoyed it, please uh, subscribe and push like. Okay, have a nice day.